Hello and welcome back. I'm here again. Um, today I'm responding to a comment on yesterday's video um, in which I looked at making a, a stamp, a watermark brush. And Martin Tosh asked me, can I, can he use that with size consistency as you could with the previous method that I showed you? And indeed you can. Um, and I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm in Photoshop. I've got my picture open um, and I'm going to go and grab my brush because I'm ready to put a watermark on it. So Sig1 was the one I used. Okay, let's just get rid of that dialog box so it's not in the way. Um, you remember when you're going to stamp, just pop a new layer on there, Command Shift N for new layer, um, and you can stamp onto the layer. Now obviously this signature is quite large for this picture, so I would want to resize it. And I do that with my left hand bracket, square bracket. But as I do so, if you take note of the number up here, this is the brush size and it will change. So I'm going to stamp, sorry, I'm not going to stamp it, I'm going to resize it. So as I do this, you'll notice that number in the top left hand corner is going down. So I'm at 2000. That doesn't look bad actually. Okay, that's fine. I'll stamp that on and I'll press. Command I or Control I to invert it and make it white, and that's good. I'm happy with that. That's about the size I think. I'd maybe do it with soft light, so it's not as obvious. Uh, it's not quite as uh, not quite as bold as it could be. I'll do it with the opacity so I don't lose too much. That'll do. Okay. So size-wise, I'm happy with that. So if that if I think that's the size I would like my brush to stay, so I've got some consistency. I would come and click my brush, um, sorry, click my brush panel, and I'm using Sig1 at the moment at 2000 pixels. If I were to click the hamburger menu, I get a drop down menu, and click new brush preset. And you'll see straight away I've got an option to capture the brush size in the preset, which is what I'd like to do. And I'm going to call this one Sig1 2000 because that's what size it is. Click OK and you'll see it will appear in your collection. Now don't delete Sig1. Um, with your Sig1 2000 you can make, this, make brushes smaller with no problem. But if you try to make them too much bigger they will start to pixelate. So keep your large signature in case you need a large signature for any reason. Um, as I say, your small one, if you try to scale it up, it will pixelate, but you can scale it down. You do need to remember, if you crop your picture, you are halving or quartering or whatever by however much you crop it, you are reducing the amount of pixels across. Um, and this may seem proportionately larger. So in that case, you are going to have to scale your signature down to match. Um, but, but as long as you're not cropping, this will be the same size on every signature. Okay, so that's about it. Just save it in there uh, and you're done. You're good to go. So I hope that answers your question, Martin, and I'll be back with something, um, something else soon. Thanks, thanks very much. Bye-bye.